Chapter 4, number 37, uh, part A of the Smith Organic Chemistry textbook, X asks us to draw some isomers for uh, C4H8, constitutional isomers, which have different connectivity. So if you first try to uh, draw this structure, you might think, well, okay, let's put four carbons in a row. And I know that carbon always has four bonds, so this one on the end needs three hydrogens. This one in the middle needs just two hydrogens, and uh, so on. And if we uh, fill in all of these uh, tick marks here with hydrogens, which we should do if we draw the C, you should draw the H, um, you see that uh, we have a problem. Yes, we have four carbons, but there are ten hydrogens. So uh, what do we do about this? Well, one thing you can think about doing is uh, removing two hydrogens, of course, and I'm going to remove them from the ends of this molecule. And then what we can do is create um, a ring. Okay, so if we connect those two carbons together, we'll have a ring. And that would satisfy the molecular formula. So this is called cyclobutane, and that's a possibility. Okay, now we could possibly have cyclopropane, which is three carbons in a ring, and then um, leave the last carbon hanging off the end there. And this would be uh, methyl cyclopropane. And we can't make a five-membered ring because we don't have five carbons, and there's no other possibilities here. Um, I just want to draw the hydrogens to, uh, you know, clearly explain that this molecule here has four carbons and it has eight hydrogens. So each carbon has a total of four bonds. So if you just add the hydrogens that are necessary to create those uh, fourth bond to each of the carbon atoms, you can see that there's a total now of uh, eight hydrogen atoms on this molecule. Now, what else could we do to this starting structure here to um, satisfy the molecular formula? If we have the C4H10 um, molecule, which is butane, drawn out, and uh, you know, again, I'll draw all those hydrogens. We have to remove two hydrogens somehow from this formula in order to have a molecule that can satisfy the problem's requirement. So, Instead of removing hydrogens from the very ends, what if I remove these two hydrogens here? So if I remove these two hydrogens on adjacent carbon atoms, um, this molecule is not happy the way it is because carbon doesn't have an octet. Carbon always needs to have four bonds um, in, in stable molecules. So we, we can create a double bond here. Okay, So this would be an alkene. And let me just number the carbons here. That's one, two, three, four. And I'm, I'm numbering it. Um, just in this way, uh, you'll learn more about alkenes later and how to number and name them. But the double bond is between carbons 1 and 2. Another possibility is to create a double bond where the carbon is in between carbons 2 and 3. All right, so I'll go ahead and add in uh, hydrogens here. So you can see the... Um, I'll fix the hydrogen up here. So you can see that the formula is correct. We have four carbons and we have a total of eight hydrogens. And you might think, well, okay, that's easy. I'm gonna stop the video. I, I know what to do now. I'm gonna stick the carbon-carbon double bond at the end of the chain, okay, between carbons three and four, but please don't click out. This is incorrect. This is not the um, final answer because, let me go ahead and draw in these hydrogens here to um, very explicitly show what the formula is. If you number these, it does look like the carbon-carbon double bond is in a different position between carbons 3 and 4. But if we number the chain the other way, 1, 2, 3, 4, we can see that um, the double bond is between carbons 1 and 2. Okay, so these two molecules circled here in red are the same. Okay, so don't draw these molecules and think that they're different. The only way to make this molecule draw the fifth constitutional isomer is to um, create a branch point. Okay, if we have four carbons, there's no rule that says these carbons need to always be in a straight chain. Okay, these alkenes here, the carbons are always in a straight chain as I've drawn them. But what if we have this? Now we can put the double bond wherever we like maybe going up, okay? And that would be equivalent to all the other possibilities. I'll go ahead and draw in the H's. 
So that's a branched alkene. And that's eight hydrogens. We don't put any hydrogens on the middle carbon because that has four bonds. So the total um, count here is one for cyclobutane, two for methyl cyclopropane. Either of these circled red molecules would be isomer three. This is isomer four. And this one is isomer five. Okay? So those are the five constitutional isomers having formula C4H8. Thanks for watching.